I'll be showing you a detailed demo of how to use avatars in Microsoft Teams meetings. And this is best seen versus me just describing it. So I've set up a meeting right here. I'm gonna click this and I'll click join. The first place you can access avatars is right here where it says effects and avatars. And if I click this, you'll see avatars. I've not created one yet and we're gonna walk through how to do that. But that's a virtual representation of yourself in a Teams meeting. And it's right next to the video effects. So you can click create avatar right here but I'm gonna go in and I'll show you where you can access it within the actual meeting. So let's click join now. Here I am in the team meeting. Now maybe today I don't feel like having my real self and I wanna put on the avatar instead. So I'm gonna go up to the three dot menu right here and there's effects and avatars and let's choose that. And then switch over to avatars and now I'm gonna do create your avatar. This launches a pop-up that's gonna say add avatar. So I'll click add. Now this has launched the new Avatars app for Teams. And this is a new app that you can create and design exactly the avatar that works best for you. So I will click Get Started. Now you'll see there are a bunch of different starter avatars right here, and you can go and select through and look through the different ones that you wanna pick. You can pick one as a starting point and then make all sorts of updates to everything from clothes to face to hair, everything that you need. So I'm gonna go here and pick a starter avatar. Since I have gray hair, I'm gonna start with this one. And I'll click Use Avatar. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna click on Customize right here. And there are so many different options to choose from. We have everything from body shape. You can choose different body shapes here and you can see how that body shape will change. And if you wanna go in and customize, anytime you hit this little customization dialog, you can do all sorts of very specific customizations. So everything from abdomen right here, to make your waist bigger or smaller. I mean, you can go on endlessly in customizing these things and it's really interesting. There's the face ones. So everything from eyes, eyelashes, nose, mouth, ears. And just like before, you can choose default settings like this and clicking around, but you can also click on face shape and customization. And there's all sorts of customizations, cranium height, head depth. And I go here and click next page Next page, there's cheek information, chin information. You can really customize anything that you want. Then you go into hair, same as before, hairstyles you can choose or you can drill in customization. Even things like facial hair, so mustaches, beards, goatees, eyebrows. And then you go to appearance. You can add things like lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, eyeliner, so all sorts of different customizations. Going to wardrobe here, you can choose what you want to be wearing. So underlayer, outerwear, it's pretty much an endless amount of customizations that you can make your avatar look exactly how you want to. I'll go back to body here. And then there's also things like prosthetic and skin tone. So anything you want to do for your avatar, you can. In this case, I'll click discard. You can also add multiple avatars. So you can have different personas based on how you're feeling in a specific day, and you can customize those to as much as you want. Now what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna flip forward and I've done some customization to try and give myself what I think is the most representation of myself. It's pretty tough to do because there's so many different tweaks, but let's switch over and see what that looks like. Okay, here is my avatar. I've updated myself to the best of my ability. It's not perfect me, but you know, it works good enough. And so now what I'm gonna do is switch over to a Teams meeting and I'm gonna turn on my avatar and then show how you can do things like react and do different emotions and a lot of fun stuff. So I'm back here in Teams meetings and I'm gonna select my avatar here and I'm gonna select a background. Let's choose this one right here and then I'll hit apply avatars. And hey, here I am in the meeting and you can see as I'm talking, my mouth is moving. I can go here for avatar reactions. I can do like, hey, that's great. I can do a heart. I can do a laugh. Ah, 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 ah. And there's lots of other options. I can change my background really easy right here. If I click and say apply avatars, hey, now I've got a nice, fun, magical background. So all sorts of options under show all, you can do all sorts of different reactions tons of different stuff here and I'm not going to go through each one of those and you can pin some of the ones you want so if you want to do the aristocrat bow and pin that now I'll do aristocrat bow oh very nice uh, <laughs> I'm having some fun bows there so you have a sense here there's lots of different fun stuff you can do with the avatar reactions I'll hit back right here 
Also, right now you have to be 18 or older to get this. So in education environments, this is not rolling out, but you have lots of fun here in commercial environments and you should explore and there'll be more capabilities coming to avatars in the future. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.